I'm going to start my October's burning milk in front of yield rubbish can. So I have these shelves here and I wanted to show you I went to Walmart and got this candle here. I think it's a mainstay. Yeah, I think it was seven, eight dollars, something like that. Um, it says jack-o'-lantern scented candle. It's not bad. I was kind of like hesitant, you know, because my nose is so sensitive. But it is maybe like a, a fruity, pumpkin, spicy scent. Not really heavy on the cinnamon. Um, speaking of cinnamon, I don't think I threw any in my empty zoo. But whoo, I'll show you here in a second what I'm talking about. It is strong and I just don't think I like it. Look at my faux cupcakes. Aren't they cute? I had to put do not eat on the bottom. I made a few of them. This was my last one and I put it in the box and when I did, I, it was still kind of damp. And I squished it. I squished it. But now it's all hard and I could drop it. It'd be fine, I think. I also cracked it too, somewhere in there. Let me show you this before I head upstairs. Better Homes and Gardens, crisp fall leaves right there. Apple, leaves, balsam, berry, vanilla, spice, and amber woods. I don't know what it is, but to me there is like, um, hmm, not so much patchouli, but like nag champa in it. That scent maybe is the amber woods, but I don't like it. I tried to push this off of my sister. She said no, so I've been blending it. I got, I just finished the other one up and now I have this clamshell. I wanna show you this too. Look how cute that display is. I plan to make a video of my Halloween decorations. I'm still getting things out, but there's a sneak peek. So next I came over here and pulled my big basket down. This still has wax in it. It's been in here for quite some time. I really need to sift through it and get it melted. Um, I have some of these Kringle tarts and I think I have some daylight candles in here as well, country candles. And then some of these small ones I got at Yankee, the wood wick. But remember I told you, I'll show you here in a second, that wax, that crisp fall leaves. I was digging around here, smelling them, thinking I gotta blend. I gotta, I gotta tone it down. I just can't take it instead of throwing it out. So I found this sparkling iced tea I've had probably three years now, and I popped a cube of it in with the fall leaves. And I tell you what, I could stomach it. So that's good. So this is coming out because I want to try to get through that clamshell, and then also in here is some of my salted caramel which i think i did one of these a couple months ago maybe earlier in the month but my goodness does it smell good and so i'm going to get another clamshell of that and you can see i just have a few of them i think they're all salted caramel good time to take stock on my stash too kind of helps prevent me from buying more what's that one yep all the same i have these wood wicks and i'll tell you these are strong the fraser fur i've had these for a while i think i got these at yankee and then there's samantha gave me those little tea lights so let me show you what I have left over from September. I burned a lot this month and I still have all of those left. Okay, there's that crisp fall leaves. I'll put that in the mix. Ah, I still have this pumpkin apple harvest, that peanut brittle, that's a banana, a nut bread, I think. These are ones that one day I'll get back around to burning I started and that's not like me at all. You know, I don't like to start something, not finish it. But they were just taking forever. And so I'll go back to them one day. Uh, this is that one by Milk House, I think. 
apple strudel yeah banana walnut muffin so i tell you i wouldn't mind i'm gonna leave them in here um i know which ones i'm gonna focus on uh for october and if i can get through well i'll probably try to burn at least one more of those and then i'll get into the other one so let me go upstairs i'll show you i know i'm going to start out with a spiced pumpkin milk cup because the other one i have is at the end of its life it's really stained uh, oh i got hen socks on um what else is in here oh let me do this smell my nuts it's really kind of like a bakery fall bakery scent and what else I see pumpkin delivery vintage harvest cider mill this is by that same company that did that peppermint bark whatever I did not like it so let me put this in the mix if I do a cube and I'm like mm, no I'm gonna have to rethink that whole whole business okay I brought my basket up with me To the same old plant candle closet this is where i have almost everything at i do have the stuff down also in the hutch and i think i just got a new spice pumpkin that i put in my bookcase so you know it's october halloween i don't want to do complete just halloween scents for the month but at the end yes i do want to and i want to get through where is it at? Because I can never remember where I put anything at. I'm looking for that. Oh my gosh. That, this one, that enchanted candy potion. Oh, I bet it's down below. Okay. Alright, I don't think I have anything here really. Oh wait, I have a pumpkin vanilla cream. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. And kind of my reasoning behind it is I'm trying to get through some of this older stuff that I have. Wicked Apple, Fall Farmhouse, Pumpkin Carving. Because I'm finding if I let it go and let it go, it just, it, it doesn't get, it doesn't get better. Some of it does, but most of it does not. You know the Pumpkin Marshmallow. To do what to do i'm i'm working well through my soaps by the way in case you really cared and look at my empties i need to do a video soon i'll do an update let me get down here on my squeaky floor i need um uh, to do an update and tell you what's happening um caramel pumpkin swirl Remember I found this stash, but I also bought some. There it is. A Chanted Candy Potion. I have that other one I got from Walmart that's downstairs already. I think we mostly get into the lemon cake pop. Oh, by the way, I have my thoughts on this one too. The farm, Fall Farmhouse. It's okay, but it's almost like, and I, let me look at the notes on that. I'm jumping, I know. Forest pine branch, fresh fall something. There's kind of like a like an earthy note as it's burning. It smells good, well, except for that note. And it's like, oh man, firecracker palm. Ooh, warm apple pie. Maybe we'll look since I have it open. Strawberry pound cake. Hot fudge drizzle. I guess I thought it was all lemon cake pop, but it is not. What's this one? Lemon cake pop and since we're down to the bottom. Lemon cake pop. 
I should try to crack those up so the lemons are together. That's the summer. And that's kind of fallish. I don't know what I'm going to do for November. I don't know. Because in, it's like I like to do peppermint in January. It's a classic for me to do that. You know, Christmas is Christmas sense. I do a lot of pine. So maybe I'll go for an apple thing. I don't know. Okay. This is the one I wanted. I like these boxes better than the other ones that you have to rip open. So I just got this candle. Mixed reviews when I bought it. I think it was an online only candle and the enchanted candy potion. When I smelled it, I know it smelled sweet. Yeah, it does smell sweet. Kind of odd, but you know, candy for, it smells like pop or sweet, uh, what are they called? Sweet tarts? I think that's what it is. Maybe you guys can help me out there. Spellbinding sugar, bewitched berries, whipped pixie dust. Okay. Okie doke. I, I'll save that box. I put the candy in there. Keep the box. Next, I'm going to dig that out. I am trying to get through this wax something fierce. So let me uh, dig it out. Okay, let's see what's in here. You think I'd have this stuff memorized by now? This apple, maple, pumpkin. Let's give it a go. And for the holidays, gingerbread, cranberry apple crisp, sugar jack, sea salt and cocoa bean, snickerdoodle. Um, yeah, we'll put that in there. Some days I find I just don't feel like burning a candle and I just do a melt. But I tell you what, I really burn for September. And that one candle I had, just wanted to go and go. Toasted vanilla cupcake. You know what? Because I noticed these are losing their scent. Because I did the other one, the pumpkin one. And it was almost non-existent. At this I'm starting to see the bottom I love it that means I can the more I get through the more than I can <laughs> allow myself to buy what is that the apple cinnamon I just get that right yeah Blech. I mean it's not terrible but I think I'd have to blend it with something vanilla maybe the cookies Cookies for Santa. Let's remember that for December. Yeah, okay. I won't. But look at that. The bottom. Now, don't don't fret, though. I still have a whole other box I have yet never opened that I ordered that I need to get through as well. And then the last thing I want to grab is this spice pumpkin right here. I have some photos back in there. Some milk cups, some other things in there. McCall's candle, um, one of these, which you can't buy anymore. I wish they'd come back out with them. Where you put the bamboo sticks in, stuff like that. I know my desk is a mess, but we're going to stick right here in this corner. I'm going to slide up. Show you October. Happy Halloween. Spice pumpkin. I just picked this up. Two wick. I think this is one of their signature jars. Correct me if I'm wrong. That could be. Anyways, it smells good. And you know, this is one of my favorite scents from Yankee Kingdom. Has been for years. I think that's why I like gingerbread maple so much. And 
Autumn wreath kind of has hints of it. And I even have poopery and spiced pumpkin. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. What else? Uh, where did I do the... Oh, it's right here. From. <laughs> My goodness, I'm blind as a bat. Mainstays, jack-o'-lantern. Uh, again, it's like a fruity scent. So I think it will pair well. If I have this one burning in one room and you know like i've been doing my kitchen windowsill and then i've been doing the front they don't intermingle this house is very choppy so like i could get away with that in the back the in the this one in here in the front and i think it would be just fine because if it did mingle it would not be matching sense but they would be close enough it wouldn't be drastic difference so the enchanted candy potion by bath and body works it's purple, purple packaging. And then a lot of, uh, what, oh, you know, I have those other ones from September that I'm trying to work through yet. So I'm going to add those in the mix. And then I wanted to get a lot of wax because wax seems to be the thing I'm getting through right now. The Swan Creek in the Snickerdoodle. And the candy shop, which I think will pair well with that. The crisp fall leaves. I broke out the iced tea because it was the only thing I found that tamed that. And as much as I like that on cold sniff, I don't think. And I'll say now, I, I would not get it again. However, if I went to the store a couple years from now, I'd be like, oh, that doesn't smell bad at all. <laughs> I, would, I would do it all over again. Salted caramel, better homes and gardens. A couple years old on those, on this one and that one. Yeah. Then candles from the keeping room, maple pumpkin. Sorry, I don't mean to fling my arm in front of you. This is homeworks. I think this is finally the last one. Toasted vanilla cupcake, which I will probably be able to melt with. Well, really any of them because you know it's, it's a vanilla scent. This uh smell my nuts it i can't ex i guess snickerdoodle snickerdoodle is probably the closest thing i could say how it's described and i just got it back in the spring and i definitely want to use it up and not wait on it because then it will just lose its scent and then yeah, i'll be sad pumpkin delivery by 18 is 1803 candles give it a try see how i like it and then a milk cup and spice pumpkin, which I'll wait to finish. I'll wait to finish these off because of that strong scent in there. That probably the amber. And then I'll have my sweet spice pumpkin to do the sweeter things in. Okay, I think that I think that's it. Um of course if I grab anything else and I'll throw, you know, my empties and let you know. But that's probably that's probably enough right there. So again, I hope you guys have a wonderful um, October, good fall. Hopefully we get a nice uh, warmer weather here in PA. I mean now, Western PA, it's been a little chilly. Waiting for the fall leaves to turn. But uh, that's it, so take care. <music>